In this video, I would like to review a book, English Phonetics and Phonology, a practical course by Peter Roach, Cambridge University Press, the fourth edition. This is my first book review ever, so I do hope that you'll find it useful. I bought this book as a part of my professional development. I would like to brush up my knowledge in phonetics and phonology. Also, this is one of the recommended books to read before the summer course in English phonetics, which is held at University College London. This is the fourth edition. It includes two CDs. There are 20 chapters. They are production of speech sounds, articulation above the larynx, English short vowels, long vowels, diphthongs, triphthongs, larynx, forties and linies, phonology, phonemic symbols, strong and weak uh, syllables, stress in simple words and in complex words. Also, I love that there are four chapters about intonation. Before reading this book, I would recommend you to to read the list of symbols. There are symbols for phonemics and also non-phonemic symbols, word stress and intonation. After each chapter, you may find exercises. You are welcome to listen to the exercises. Also, there are exercises which are recommended for writing and you may check yourself because there are answers at the end of the book. For example, the second chapter is about the production of speech sounds. There are pictures which may help you to understand better the articulators and, for example, the subdivision of the tongue. Also, there are descriptions of each of the articulators. For example, the first is pharynx. It is not only described as the articulator, but also I found out that it is about 7 cm long in women and 8 cm long in men. So you will learn some new information about our body as well, I think. After this chapter, you will find written exercises. For example, in the first exercise, your task is to label errors and write here the names of the articulators. Moreover, after each chapter, you will find notes on the problems and further reading. So, you will not have to look for some additional information online because here you may find the names of the papers and books which you are recommended to read to know about it more. All in all, I do recommend this book for teachers and those ones who are studying at a university. However, if you would like to have more practical exercises, I would recommend you English pronunciation in use. Also, the publisher is Cambridge University Press. If you like this video, please leave a comment. If you have any questions about this book review, also leave a comment and I will try to answer all your comments as soon as I can.